friendly greetings. This is Torley, and I'm going to take you on a brief tour of the inventory links that are introduced in Viewer 2. Now, their prime benefit, let's open my appearance here, is easy access for when you have, say, you don't want to mess with your full inventory view, but you want to quickly save the look you have. So you can click Save Outfit here. And by the way, that's the same as right-clicking well, right clicking yourself and going to My Appearance and the Make Outfit button. It's the same thing. So what happens is, let's call this Outfit Test. Let's save it. And here, when you open this, you'll notice they all say Link. They're all in italics and they're in bold because I'm wearing it. If I right click and detach, then it's not going to be bold. Now, an important thing to understand here is my outfits is a simplified subset of view of my inventory. If we go here and then we go to my outfits, we see, ah, yes, the coat hanger icons. And right here, same thing. In addition, links are automatically created for your current outfit and links can be broken. This means links, I need to emphasize this, links are not the same as copies. They are not the same at all. For convenience, you can have multiple links pointing to a no copy item, and these links may be in different folders, meaning you can say have a no copy hat with several of your favorite outfits. However, if you edit that original item, it edits it for all visible instances because the links are entirely dependent. They are not copies. They simply point to a single original or set of links would point to a single original. You can have different links pointing to different things, of course. So let's show you how to search for links. If you're in your inventory and you want to see all the links, you can search link and brackets parentheses like that, and it shows you all the links. In addition, if you were to click on a link and go to the gear, the actions here, and find original, it would show you what the original is. And notice the original, if you're wearing the link or it appears, you're not actually wearing a separate instance because a link is a pointer. You're wearing the originals. That's why they're both bold and it says worn there. If you were to take off a original, an original, it also remove, take off this link. As you can see, it's not being worn anymore. And if you were to wear it again, then it doesn't, it shows right there that it's highlighted. And conversely, you can right click a link. So right click the link and find original. So that's how you track the trail of what's dependent on what. And I do need to emphasize that links are always, always dependent on the originals. If you have a folder of links and you delete the originals, all of them will break. So be very careful and do make sure to check out the wiki page I've provided as to what expected behaviors are. We do plan to clarify some of this in the future, but I know as a stopgap measure, as I like to do, that I would perform this public service announcement of sorts. And of course, you can create multiple links to a single original. If we were to save another outfit with some variations, like say, for instance, let's just use this as a quick example. Say I were to, to take off something, so there's going to be some differences. My boots are gone now. I'm bootless. You can take off my hair for extra embarrassment. And not saying there's anything wrong with being bald. We were to save outfit. So as another one, we save it as test two. You'll notice that in this test two folder, so the first ones, since they are just links pointing to the original that's worn, anything that I'm wearing in test two, that's the same links pointing to an original. I know <laughs> nested logic is going to get confusing, but hopefully this will help straighten you out. Will still be shown in bold. And of course, they're all attacks because they're all linked. But if I were to go back to this first one, right click and the replace the current outfit like this, then the items from this more whole folder of links would be shown similar to that. So I hope this helps you understand more about links. I should show you an example before we part of how links can break. Let me show you a very good example now. Let's go to my homeland of here. This is a common instance I've unfortunately heard about. Hopefully in the future we'll have sufficient warning. Let me turn off the music there. And 
don't be distracted by bright, shiny things. So here I am. And if I'm going to my inventory and I'm going to look for something that is specifically no copy, it could be anything. But the point here is it's very illustrate, very easy to illustrate with a no copy object because I can right click and I can wear this right following along. OK, so I got this cube. It's very evident. You can see that cube now because in my appearance, I will save a new outfit. And because this saves everything I'm wearing, it will save that cube as well. Let's call this test three. OK, we don't need to go over budget and capital letters there. And right here in test three. So you notice, OK, the sample object to give is a link. Mm -hmm. And also notice if you right click here, you can detach from yourself, but you can't find the original. And also here it doesn't show there. It only shows it in the inventory view. What if I were to drop this? What would happen? Let's try that. Right click and drop it. So it gives us a warning. And actually, I should, I should, I think you can see it. Let me scroll down a bit though. So it shows, oh, it's in a different folder. Let's see here. Let's navigate back to here, actually, because you can clearly see it's right there. So keep your eye on that. I have to right click. And if I were to drop this, watch what happens to the link, because this is a no copy item. If I drop it, it takes it out of my inventory, which is in world. And now in test three, it shows as broken link because there is nothing in my inventory. It's completely out of my inventory. In addition, if I right click and if I take it back, that unfortunately does not fix the link. So that's a common confusion right now. Just be aware of that. If you're going to edit attachments, try not to drop them. If they have links that are dependent on them, you can right click and edit it while you're wearing it instead. So I hope to continue updating myself and others the inventory links wiki page as time goes on. But in the meantime, I hope this helps clarify your understanding somewhat of links and have a lot of fun with them. They're, they've been asked for for a long time and they're great for what I mentioned, having multiple references pointing to the same thing. But links are not copies. That's the main message here.